This planet's too cold. This planet's too hot. This planet is just right. Next stop, the Goldilocks Zone on today's Creation Moment. And now our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. I'm sure you remember the fairy tale of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Goldilocks tries to eat Papa Bear's porridge, but finds it too hot. So she turns to a second bowl, and it's too cold. Finally, she discovers a third bowl of porridge, and finds it to be just right. So she eats it all up. Since the 1970s, astronomers have described our own planet as being situated in what they call a cosmic Goldilocks zone that is just right for life to exist. It is neither too hot nor too cold, neither too far away from the sun nor too close. Years ago, however, NASA noted that the Goldilocks zone is much larger than they ever expected. Scientists have found microbes in nuclear reactors, microbes that love acid, and microbes that swim in boiling water, wrote NASA. They also observed whole ecosystems have been discovered around deep sea vents where sunlight never reaches and the emerging vent water is hot enough to melt lead. Now, scientists are once again rethinking their position. Nature magazine reported that, quote, Tidal heating shrinks the Goldilocks zone and concludes that this overlooked factor suggests fewer habitable planets than thought. With each new discovery in recent years, the size of the Goldilocks zone is shrinking. Perhaps one day scientists will realize that only one planet in the universe occupies the Goldilocks zone, the planet we call home. Creation Moments reveals the science that supports biblical creation. Visit us at creationmoments.com or call 1-800-422-4253. And join us next time as we once again proclaim the evidence of God's truth.